Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create profiles on our server. Specifically, how to create location, channel table, and hit V2 profiles. First thing you want to want to do is log in. Once logged in, you want to navigate to the top right hand corner of the screen to get the drop down menu. In the drop down menu, under profiles, you can manage your locators, RF and cable TV profiles, transport and ethernet profiles, DSL profiles, and also view the profile deletion log. For our purposes today, I'll be working with RF and cable TV profiles. Once in the RF and cable TV profile menu, you can go to the left of the screen to select the type of profile you want to create. The dropdown will give you all of the RF and cable TV profiles that you can create. I'm going to start with a location profile. The from box lets you set a previously created location settings to your new location. So this means that if you have an older location profile already on our server that has settings that are very similar to what you want to create, you can choose that profile from this dropdown and the settings will be copied over. So all you have to do is add in a couple little edits to get your new location profile. I'm going to just choose to make a completely new location. Next, you want to head over to the Name tab and put the name of the location. I'll name mine CPE Location just for simplicity's sake. Now just press the Create button to pop up a dialog box that will let you set the thresholds for your profile. At the left of the screen, in the checkmark box, if you have a checkmark, that means that that threshold is enabled. If you have no checkmark in your checkmark box, that means that threshold is disabled. The columns to the right let you set the specific threshold value. At the top, these tabs let you choose what type of thresholds. So you can choose analog, you can do digital thresholds, you can do LFDM thresholds, B test, return path, VoIP, and KLAN sweep threshold. Once you're happy with all of your thresholds, you want to click on the scope tab to the right. Now you're going to want to navigate down to your organization that you want your profiles in. I'm going to choose the VX Fremont Josh organization, just so that any test set that is not in this specific region, district, and system will not get this profile. If I want to encrypt my profile so that someone needs a password to edit it, I can press the encrypt and save button and enter in the password that I would like. I'm just going to press the regular save button for right now. Your new location profile should show up at the top of the list. Now that you have a location profile, the next step is to make a channel table. So again, go up to the type and choose channel table. Now from the from, I'm going to choose a previously created channel table to base my new channel table off of. And I will name it CPE channel table. Once I'm happy with all of that, again, press the Create button to pop up the dialog box. If I had chosen to create a new channel table, all of this information would be blank, and I would have to manually add in the channels that I want. These channels are preset from the from new channel table that I chose before. These tabs again let you check what channel tables you want to set. So if you want to set the channels of the analog, digital, CX380 24 hour digital pop, or RFDM channels. Once you're happy with your channel selection, you can go over to scope. Now you want to go and navigate back down to the same organization you set the location at. As you can see, there's two more organization this channel table is associated with. This is because I created this channel table off of a previously existing channel table. So I just want to make sure that I uncheck those scopes and make sure that my organization is checked, the VX Fremont Josh. Once I'm happy with that, I can press the Save button. And that will create a new channel table that will pop up at the top of the list. So now I have a CPE location and a CPE channel table. 
The last step is to make the hip auto test V2. So you want to go up to type and then navigate down to the hip auto test V2 to make your hip V2 profile. This from I'm also going to make a completely new hip auto test. And now I'm going to name it CPE hip two. Once I'm happy with that, press the create button and the dialog box will pop up for settings that I want to set on my hip V2 profile. Instead of discover, I'm going to go to channel table and I'm going to choose my CPE channel table I created before. OFDM primary, I'm going to do not available because OFDM wasn't set. And now I want to go down to ground block CPE and tap. And because I'm making a CPE hip V2 test, I will turn that on. The threshold is the location profile that I made previously. So this will be the CPE location. This is why to make a hip auto V2 test, you have to have already set up a location and a channel table. Once you're happy with those, you can choose what type of tests you want your CPE to run. Now, if for whatever reason, your channel table is set to more channels than you want to scan, you can check them off on the channel table selection tab. So this is if you want to narrow the scope of your hip V2 test. If you're happy with all of your channels selected, you can go back over to scope and choose again the VX Fremont Josh organization. Once that's done, all I have to do is press the save button. And now I will we'll have created a hip V2 test, a channel table, and a location threshold. That is all you need to know for how to create a hip V2 test. Thanks for watching.